Weird. ...was sealed by several nations of the bridge around 200 years ...and a council formed from the different nations now rules. ...conquering our neighbors, but our ancestors quickly realized that the Union had also strengthened... ...exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Each day... ...and every domain. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the congregation and the bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the congregation and the other nations on the continent. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemies. The Bridge Alliance has been on Tier for D for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island, an enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied, and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never, ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses. But they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there, who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. And what of your war with Teleme? <sighs> it has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. But that's the way of the world. We shall not waver, whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Direct conflicts are in fact quite rare. But one day, they will inevitably take place. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. I wish you a good day, Your Excellency.
You won't regret this. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little vial is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But, as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But. If it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. Have a nice day, sire.
Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right... Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before he... Sire, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your plan? Has the Malakor really put a damper on your... <laughs> people stopped going out of their home. And then, thankfully, people were still this. I also lost... Yeah, but that's nothing new to you. I need to be off. Goodbye. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin? Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. 
I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I was unfortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners, making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocence. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Please listen, I beg you. If you want him to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves. He's trapped. He'll have to come out someday. You'll see. I can procure you some excellent potions, as long as you promise to put an end to this. True potions of healing like those you thought you were buying. What are you, some sort of alchemist then? I hope you're not the same feather as the other. If that's the case, we have enough rope to hang the both of them! Trust me, I swear that each and every one of you will receive one. Ugh, our trust was already given. We're going nowhere without seeing the merchandise. Such a large number of potions. This story's gonna cost you a fortune. These vials could be lying around anywhere. I need to keep my eyes peeled. Do you have those potions, you... Not quite. It's your last... If not... Tavern keeper. I see you're back. 
How is business? It's the the now. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. The servant's door. The lock's double bolted. I don't have the key. Locked. Locked. I don't have the key. Tavern keeper. Last. Does this establishment have a service entrance? Yes. Over there, behind. Next to the storeroom. Why? I have delicate business to attend to. Oh, I see. Does this have anything to do with those enraged folks screaming at the front door? No worries. I know how to keep a secret. I might even allow you to use the door, as long as you are of a generous disposition. Gold for simply turning a key? Well, it's just that I have a business to run, you know. I'm obliged to ask for payment for services rendered. Have you thought of what might happen if all those people outside lose their patience? They'll storm your tavern to carry off your troublesome client. Who knows how much damage they'll do? They don't scare me. If they come in my tavern, I'll teach them a lesson they will not live to forget. Sorry, but I can't accept that. I'll find another solution. Anything else? I have delicate bit. No, uh, no worries. I might even allow. Sorry, but I any. I need to be off. Goodbye. Hello, sir. Do you have those posts? Not quite. He's taken us. You've been to my help. <laughs> and death to the others. <laughs> Tavern keeper. I'll see your back. I have de no, I'm on. Sorry, but I can't. Eh? I need to be off. Goodbye.
The merchant is there. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it. And perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous, 
for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. What's your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Or believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. How is Teleme faring on Tirfredi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on tier for D? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade.
Good day, good sir. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refused to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise? If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of us. You're demanding a second payment, but refuse. I'm not the one demanding, nor... This stubborn fool is pushing me to madden. I don't think you understand who you're dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lord de Sade, nephew of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion, theft. You know as well as I that the congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That is a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise, without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... As you request, my lord. I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us. Have you seen anything? Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes, we were finally... Excellent news. Blast me, I'm... The commander was quite... Very well. The merchandise that you obtained, but the port authority for Malachi... And we've already lost... Are you blatant? I would never... Ah, well now. Yeah. But this car... Marvelous. Well then...
Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. Though some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Lauro. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> We're only talking... Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship, Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't... Captain, I understand your position, but isn't... I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is... He's gone into his head that a gas has placed guards where our cargo is being held. All that is not in the warehouse, and no on the manifest, will be left on the docks. Sorry, but you're... <sighs> Sorry, Colonel. The commander is gonna have my head. In that case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest us. Be back soon, Captain. have any idea how to get in there without being noticed let's take a look around the building we might find a less conspicuous entrance where is the manifest to be found I've already been to the port authorities they keep the official documents upstairs
Here's the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. If you wore a naught uniform and you were able to keep your mark hidden from them, they might let us in, unless we just offered them a drink. These... rarely refuse one. I see where this is headed. If we drop a little soporific in their glass... 
Hello. What can I do for you? We're the relay. You're dismissed. Finally. We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me heart. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get. Captain, sir, we were given... The way is clear. Do your best to be quick. Don't you be worried. The warehouse is... Move out. Quick. I still don't see Constantine. Don't worry. Well, I certainly hope. What will be your official title? God, I had also your. It's all. I need to be leaving. Sir, you still haven't found your cousin. As you well know. Have no fear. I will bring. I'm still without news. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a Nord? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Nords master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nord from birth. Others are sea-gifted. 
joined the Nords for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Could you tell me anything about our destination, the island of Tierfredi? It is a magnificent place, wild, spared from your wars and your mines for now. The natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They're a very friendly people, welcoming, that will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are a great many exotic creatures, some enormous, but I wouldn't know what else to tell you. I've never strayed far from the ports. What do you think of our port? Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Nords. Certain zones are owned completely by us, and maritime law holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. You haven't heard anything about my cousin, by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. 
That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. What do you think of our port? Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Norts. Certain zones are owned completely by us, and maritime law holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Nothing to bother yourself about. I'm just curious. You wouldn't, by the sheerest of coincidences, be on the trail of a couple of heretics, Your Excellency. The same a couple of the ambassadors of Teleme's men have been looking for nigh on two days. And so you know about that? Of course. The Cardinal's henchmen are hard to miss, even in a crowd. And they were making quite a fuss, hoping we would cave in and help them in their hunt. Feel free to carry out your own investigation, but you'll end up with the same answers. The port brigs, just like the warehouses, are property of the North. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. Are you the smuggler? You snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question. If this is some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime, you are truly twisted. You can see for yourself that I'm no naught. Come now. Are you the one I'm looking for? I'm already locked up. What more do I risk? Yes, I am a smuggler. But I'm not the only one in this city. I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Leme. They're trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't really think of my clients as kin, but I'd never betray any of them for free. A real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two Telemites are hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. They must be waiting for me. But you might want to be quick about it. If the Norths get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Thank you. Anytime. And these doors? You're gonna open them, right? Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen.
Who's there? May the Illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison, but revealed to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition, then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here.
Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerns the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Tirfredi is without any doubt the land that our St. Matthias and his disciples went to. But... The text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, St. Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced St. Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depth sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Tirfredi is without any doubt the land that our St. Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected. In his... It... I did. The... 
Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could forget what you have discovered, perhaps. Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. I could have a word with the good Dr. Sahin, the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. If I manage to convince the ambassador, stay here.
I don't have the key. Locked. Locked. Tavern keeper. I oh, see so your. I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? 20 years of age, hair down to his neck, light brown, blue eyes, quite the talker. I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. That's not a Oh, the father is forgot. I need to be off. Goodbye. Greetings, Your Excellency.
Well then. No. In that case. <sighs> that. Oh the fuck. I need to be off. Goodbye. The furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. I could repair this if I had some metal dowels. Your Excellency, Lord... I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. I would volunteer and consent to take them under my protection. But one good deed deserves another. You would like me to first take care of your charlatan? You will certainly prove to be an excellent legate. Did you reconsider? I believe I already told you that the effect. I need to be going. Goodbye.
You're excellent. Look. Did you reconsider? I believe I already told you that the. I need to be goodbye. Good day. Someone told me that you're a friend of Jonas's, the young cabin boy who's gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. What does Jonas do in his free time, when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his point like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night.
Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart, and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others. Yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I called back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator. He knows his craft well. How old is he? He's not seen as twenty. I need to be going. Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cat talking about Jonas, but like I've been crying to the nine deaf wit. What do you think about Cat? He's a just man. It's a pit. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man. Surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puff. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left, you get me? Did Jonas seem troubled to you, the night you disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. Oh, you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled but now and again he comes out when nature calls you know thank you Lara strange story this is something isn't right here I can feel it we need to lift the veil on this
Well then. No. In that? How the fuck? I'm looking for a nought. A nought, you say? According to one of a kidnap. I wouldn't know it. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. I see. And Where I... might I find him? Here. He would never give away his anything else. I need to be off. Goodbye. Who are you? No. I'm a young cabin. Yes. Tell me what happened. A rich merchant. The kind of... They exchanged... And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for... And I think I might well have seen those same men grab... I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what... What can you tell me about the boy? He seemed... And he must... Who was the rich merchant? No, sir. It was Sir Fontaine. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs. Just off... Thank you. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust them? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Might I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house... Enter, please. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. And to what do I... I would like to have a word... He is not here. It concerns a delicate... According to witness... I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to... He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I... Don't you see, Your Excellency? I am very surprised. And that his men escorted him... Witnesses? In a tavern? These witnesses are all in agreement. My son was probably shocked to... A gesture that your drunkards must have missed. What was your son doing on a north... It is what they do. What are you talking about? I would have thought that a legate would know... It seems that you have been protected from the... This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. You will have no trouble verifying the details. Where might I find your son? I cannot say, excellent. Until the noughts have set sail, we live in fear they will... This pact. It sounds like some... F Excuse me, madam. If you would be so curt. With respect, my... Might I help you, sir? I need to be going. So, you still haven't found your cousin? Have no fear. I'm still without you. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? 
But what kind of... A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the norm. In some cases, nations even trade... I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't... And ever since, he's been a naught. Arsh... Could you tell me a little about your guild? We Thanks are... To other other be back soon, Captain. You see anyone else who might be able to help us? Anyone who's not a naught? Sir de Corsillon's a veritable well of scientific knowledge. He could tell us a little more. 